Post Sports Recap Fam, this is part two of my episode this week, NBA Playoffs. Um, I'll be talking about the Eastern Conference today. There are three big, big, big games going on tonight. One, the Western Conference, Western Conference. the Lakers at the Nuggets. That's a big game I talked about yesterday. Expect Denver. But let's talk more about the East Conference today. Um, first game, like 7 p.m., is Chicago at Philly. Um, this game is... Phillies have Chicago. First of all, they match up rather well with them. They more favorably with the Bulls than the Heat. So Philly got... Philly got it made here. And then Derrick Rose goes and tears his ACL. And then we have Joe King Noah, T Taj Gibson, and who knows what suffering injuries all over the place. Chicago's a mess. And it's, it's an unfortunate mess. But Philly is in a favorable position. Chicago did force this game six, but game six is in Philly. It's to their advantage. I expect Philly to close this out. And I do believe if Chicago pushes this to seven, Chicago's going to win in seven. Philly in six or Chicago in seven. That's that prediction. Um, Atlanta at Boston is the other big game tonight in the East Conference. Um, I didn't expect Bo Atlanta to give Boston a bunch of a run. Like, Phillips ran to me. Like, the analysts on ESPN are saying Atlanta has, like, this huge home court advantage. Like, they play like a totally different team in Phillips Arena. Maybe that's true. But I cannot give that crowd any credit because their crowd to me is like one of the worst in the playoffs year after year after year. Atlanta, I love Atlanta because I've been there a couple times. But that the fan base to me just does not seem worthy of that Hawks franchise. They don't do a good job with it. They already lost the hockey team to Winnipeg. They probably There's probably a better fan base basketball-wise in Atlanta. But they got to keep it there because the market's too big. Um... Anyway, back to the basketball. Boston had a chance to close the game out, game the series out, in Atlanta, when Rondo stole the inbounds pass. But then he drove it to a corner, and Al Horford came in and trapped him up. And then all of a sudden, he had to throw the ball back in because the ball bounced off his foot, and that was the end end of game five. Now they're back in game six in Boston. I don't expect this to um, get past game six. Boston has like. I think the second best home court advantage remaining in the playoffs behind OKC. Um, yeah, so Rondo made a mistake. Expect Rondo to go off. It's a wrap. But I will say this: if for some reason Atlanta shows up and they get past the Celtics tonight, I expect Atlanta to pull it out in seven. I think this series works the same way as Chicago, Boston in six, or Atlanta in seven. Um, the other two series were rather compelling in this as well. Um, Miami, New York was about really, really compelling considering it was only five game series. Like everybody, everybody knew that the Heat were going to bowl the Knicks over, and a lot of people said it's sweet. But the Knicks came out to play. Those are some pretty tough games. I think games one and two. I think Miami had handily. Game three, the Knicks made Miami work for it. Um, in game four, Carmelo was on fire. Now, this as the series continues to go, everybody can tell that Amari and Carmelo just cannot coexist. Because when Carmelo's taking a billion shots, Amari is all sudden out of the system, and he's not taking the shots that he could be taking to contribute. There, too many cooks in the kitchen, so they're they probably they're probably going to break that up. Um. Game four was the Knicks win, so they saved the sweep. I mean, it was a big moment. I was happy for them because they haven't won a playoff game in like 13 years. But um, they finally they finally got one. Of course, in New York, I think yesterday was a foregone conclusion that Miami was going to win. And New York gave a punch at the beginning, but Miami took over with their defense. And LeBron James clicking his stats as always. So that's the Miami series. Miami will be facing Indiana Pacers, who also had a compelling series. Um, they played Orlando. This is the series. This was the series of no names because the one name that everybody was familiar with was the one name who was not in this series, Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard decided to leave his team for a back surgery. That has a whole lot more storylines than it should, but 
long story short, Howard's having back surgery, so he was out for the rest of the season. So, Orlando had to try to rely on their three-point shooting, and they didn't have a ton of post presence because they had Glenn Davis in there, who was very undersized. But I have to give it to him. That boy held his own down there. Um, I think he was leading his team, like, probably four to five games they played. He was a workhorse down there. Um, Indiana was, is always known as a team with no names. They just play so well. Like, they have Danny Granger. They have, um, Tyler Hansberg comes off the bench. They have David West. They have, see, I can't even call, Roy Hibbert. It's difficult for me to come up with the names. I don't know them enough. They're, they're just such no names. But they play so well together. They, they are all about teamwork. And for this attitude of teamwork that they bring to basketball, they're going to give Miami a run. They're going to give Miami a run. I easily see the Miami-Indiana series going six. I think Indiana can pull two. Probably still one in Miami. Take one in Indiana. Miami will take the rest. Um, that I think that's all I have about to say about these series. Um, the big picture in the East is not really that hard. With Chicago's Derrick Rose tearing his ACL, it clearly became he or bust. Because everybody wants to sit here and say, okay, maybe the Celtics, they're like the last hope of beating the Heat. But the thing is, the Celtics are having problems dealing with the Hawks. And the Hawks have underperformed every single year in the playoffs. This year, to me, is no different. They're taking the Celtics the, dif the distance, don't get me wrong, but... This these set of Hawks can be playing a whole lot better than they have been playing in the past couple of years. So I don't think Boston has what it takes to beat the Heat in a seven game series. They have owned the Heat in the regular season, but they're going to really, really make some shots and play some hard nosed defense if they want to beat the Heat now. Um that's all I have to say about the East. The East is relatively easy compared to the West. Um, now that I've already done the West and I'm doing the East now, I will tell you I have Miami coming out of the East. The West, I've always said it was San Antonio or OKC. The Spurs have owned Thunder in the um, regular season. They beat them at home like it was nothing. They beat them in OKC like it was nothing. I think the Spurs just have the edge over OKC. They have veterans, and they also have young pieces to complement those veterans. Spurs are not as old as you think. I have Spurs coming out of the West. I think Spurs Miami will be an intriguing series. I am not totally against a Miami OKC series as long as as long as it's between OKC or Spurs coming out of the West. I think that'd be a compelling series. Um, that's all I have for Sports Recap Wednesday. Hope you all enjoyed the um, video. I will be moving to Chapel Hill this weekend to start summer school. See y'all later.